Hola familia, welcome to another YouTube video. Today is actually very, very exciting because we're actually looking at deadlifts, how to perform deadlifts and how to the different variations and basically the correct form and running through every single mistake that people might be making and how to target your glutes in particular. So it's very, very exciting. Um, if you have missed my squat, squat video, I, I basically did a tutorial, a whole tutorial on squats on how to perform them um, before. So make sure you check it out. And since we're there, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss any content from me. Now, as well, very, very important that, uh, thing that I needed to let you know is I've got a few spots available for my online coaching at the moment. So if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, where I send you a personalized plan, personalized workout and meal plan, we get to speak to each other on a daily basis through my app. So if you ever need any help with your motivation, if you want me to give you tips and form, you want me basically to coach you throughout every single step of your journey and also doing weekly check-ins where I basically help you transform your body, become the best version of yourself, link in the description below to get started. Now, <coughs> let's get straight into the video and the tutorial, okay? so. The first thing I want you to know is that there is different variations, different deadlift variations, any other different exercise, there's so many different variations, and I'm going to go through them all. However, what I want you to do is not to just copy what works best for me or what my favorite is, because as I always say to you, everyone is different, okay? So I want you to test them all out <coughs> and pick which one works best for you. It's all about you here. It's all about understanding what works best for you and your body. That's what I want you to really understand, okay? <coughs> that being said, I'm gonna start from the RDL, from Romanian deadlift, okay? So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using this bar. Um, it's obviously the weight is really, really low. And just for demonstration purposes, obviously you work up to your own strength, you use your own weight, okay? <clears throat> so tutorial for any single type of deadlift movement. So this applies to all deadlift variations. This is the hip hinge movement. What does it mean? That the movement starts from your hips, okay? Hinging at your hips. What the hell does it mean, Chiara? It means that you want to start the movement. Rather than getting your arms down to pick up the weight, I want you to start the movement by pushing your hips back. That is the first thing for all the variations that we're going to be using today. If you're a beginner and you don't know how to do this, I urge you to practice first with a small little weight, like five kilos, 10 kilos max, before jumping on the barbell, okay? Just because I want you to grasp the concept of hinging. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick um, sim a tutorial on how to hinge. It's very <clears throat> easy to understand when I compare it to a wall. So, for you to understand what a hinging movement is, I want you to imagine you're standing in front of a wall, and I want you to push your bum and making it touch, and try to make it touch the wall, okay? So that, that is what you should be striving. Now, a lot of people who just, what, by, as they tend to practice this movement, they'll only start feeling this movement on your hamstring, which is fine, because that lift is a compound movement, so it targets different muscles at the same time. However, you want to make sure you always target your glutes. So how do we do this as well, okay? So, as we said, RDL, hinge movement, push, 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 okay? One little tip that I'm gonna give you in order to target your glutes more, I want you to slightly tuck your chin in, okay? Slightly tuck it in, okay? So that is the first tip. Second tip, I want you to slightly bend your knees. Don't have your legs completely straight because they are, if they're completely straight, you'll just tend to target your hamstrings more. So slight bend at your knees. Chin slightly took in, tucked in, okay? Second thing I want you to do, obviously I want you to imagine that when you're going down, okay? You're going down, slight bend on your knees, okay? I don't want you to think that you're lifting the weight down. I want you to imagine with your feet, you're pushing the ground. That's literally, it's almost, it's almost sounds crazy, doesn't it? But I want you to imagine with your feet that you're pushing the ground away from you. Obviously that's not physically possible, but that's what I want you to think to engage your glutes more. So again, I'm gonna do it without a weight first. Let's imagine I've got my dumbbell, or actually let me just grab something so that it's easier for you. 
So before I do it with the bar, right? So I've got this, I've got my little weight, slight bend on my knee, down, 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 down. Now, your, your back needs to be straight. The moment you round this, like this, okay? You see that I'm rounding it up here? That's not correct, and you'll tend to add pressure over here. So remember to keep your back straight the whole time. Remember that you're pushing the ground with your feet, rather than thinking about yanking the weight up and down. Push the ground, just imagine that you're pushing the ground with your feet, that way you'll target your glutes more. Chin tucked in, okay, and you stop at a comfortable height. Now, this is what a Romanian deadlift, aka RDL is. You don't wanna go all the way down with the weight touching the floor, because the moment you do that, again, you'll, your back will not be straight anymore. So, I want you to stop at a height where your back is straight. So, for me, for example, just because that's the way my genetic is like, this height is perfect. The moment I go a little bit further, I start arching my back, okay? And overextending, sorry, my back. So, everyone will have different uh, levels of flexibility. So, you'll notice that some people will manage to go lower without um, arching their back, and that's fine, but for me, I can only go until here. That's the RDL. And anyway, with RDL, you don't have to make the bar touch the floor. Now, let's run through everything one more time before I jump onto the barbell. Without the weight. Again. So, start movement from hips, okay? So push your hips back. Chin tucked in. Slight bend at the knees. Push, 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 pushing the ground with my feet. That's what I'm imagining. I go down, make the bum touch the wall. Actually, I can go a little bit further here. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's how far I can go. And then imagine that you just literally need to squeeze your glutes up. But by squeeze, I don't intend squeezing towards all the way down. Imagine that someone is, it's a very weird concept to explain, but <laughs> imagine someone is trying to pinch your bum from behind and you want to basically retract, okay? You want to retract it. That's the correct word, I think. I don't want you to squeeze like that, okay? Never squeeze, never, because otherwise you don't overextend your spine. So again, down, 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 down. Push the ground, look down, chin tucked in, and that's it. Nice and easy. Now let's do it with the barbell, okay? Um, obviously, you'll be in a normal gym floor. You will need the mat. We're obviously using a wooden upstairs, so that's why we're protecting the floor. But normally in the gym floor, you don't need any mats, so don't worry about those. But looking at the barbell now, I want you to focus on, first of all, if you are beginning practice with dumbbells because it's easier first, okay? And then you can um, work up um, two barbells. Now, the, the, the next thing is grip. Some people prefer doing a normal grip. I just prefer an inverted grip. That's what just works for me. Again, it doesn't mean it's right. It just means that it works more for me, okay? I just feel it more natural, natural that way. So I just grab the weight, right? And same concept as we did before. Push the ground with your floor. You want to tuck your chin in, okay? Slight bend at your knees. Push, 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 push. And that's it, that's how far I can go. And then crank my butt in, and again. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, nice and easy. You notice as well, I didn't go all the way down with my barbell. My barbell wasn't touching the floor. That is the main thing for Romanian deadlift. Now. On to conventional. I'm out of breath for some reason. I don't even know why. <laughs> On to conventional deadlift now. Conventional is slightly different, okay? So, thing to remember in terms of conventional, a lot of people tend to play around with their arm stance and people say you have to have it out, people have to have it in. It doesn't really matter how wide you go. Some people prefer in terms of the anatomy to have your feet slightly wider, some people slightly more narrow in terms of the stance. So honestly, whatever works and feels more natural to you, okay? Now, same concept as we said before, hip hinge 
at the hips. So the, mo the, bo <laughs> the movement always starts by hinging at the hips, pushing your hips back. At this time, okay, always inverted grip. Same principle ap applies with looking down the whole time, okay? Same principle applies with the spine being neutral. And David, if you can come to the side so they can see the whole movement. This time, I want you to pay attention to how I lift the weight. So I start, I always initiate the, the weight. I don't want you to start moving the weight from here using your lats and your arms to move the weight. I want you to focus on a glute, almost like your glutes are lifting the weight. So I don't want you to focus on your arms lifting the weight, okay? Don't use your arms. The power and the strength should come from your posterior chain, from your glutes and hamstrings, okay? So by going slightly more down, okay, you ensure that you use your glutes a little bit more, okay? So lift the weight up. Go down. Imagine always you're pushing the ground um, with your feet. That's the same concept as before, okay? Down, 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 down. And you, put, you position the weight back down. Now, you always want to start the movement by having the bar close to your shins, okay? Not too far away, because the moment it's far away, then you will use your lats and your arms, your upper body to lift this, okay? So you have to have it as close to your shins as possible, okay? Grab the weight. So you, you, you start with a slight bend at your knees, okay? Push it up, okay? So push your hips back again. When you just go below your knees, I want you to bend at your hips and drop it down. And again. So as you can see with this, variation of deadlift, you do hit the floor. With this variation of deadlift, you'll be tend to targeting your lower back more, um, your glutes, of course, and your hamstrings. In terms of all the deadlift variation, as I said, they are compound movements. So you'll tend to target multiple, multiple muscles at once. Now, next variation is the sumo. Now, guys, there is this misconception, it's not misconception, I suppose it's like a myth, myth or something like that, um, that they think that sumos target your glutes more than any other deadly variation, and this is not true, okay? It's not true. Actually, recent studies demonstrated that in terms of glute activation, there is not much difference between a sumo stance and a conventional deadlift, okay? So it's not true when people say the sumos target your glutes more. That being said, what changes here between the conventional that I showed you before and the sumo, first of all is the stance, okay? So from here, you'll have a wider stance. You wanna go wide with your feet really wide, okay? pointed slightly outward. So here, you'll tend to, this will be a movement that will be more hip dominant rather than lower back dominant. More hip dominant, quad and adductor dominant as well. Glutes as well will be uh, recruited, but not as much as, um, but it's the same kind of recruitment that you did with the conventional. So same, exactly same engagement here in terms of the glutes, okay? So what you want to do, <coughs> Again, bar close to your shins. Obviously your arms, right? Your arms, because your, your stance is so wide, you can't have it over here, right? So it has to be inside this time, okay? Inside. So some people actually prefer sumos because they, they think they're slightly easier to perform. And I do agree with this. Um, I think personally myself, sumos are a bit um, less difficult to perform for me. Um, also, the, the range of motion is slightly smaller, so it's just a bit easier. So, same thing. So, you want to start the movement. Pushing your hips back. David, again, if you can show from this side so they can see what I'm doing with my hips. So, push your hips back. Push, 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 push. Slightly bent at your knees. I want you to pick up the weight, okay? 
always looking down. So when you practice, I don't want you to look at the mirror. If you want to practice, when you look at your form, maybe record yourself and then look over at your form. That's the best way. So again, the bar can't be far away. It needs to be close to your shins, okay? Arms in. You see how close the bar is to me? It's not like that. It's very close to my legs. That's how you need to be for all that lifts, okay? And then you bend at your knees. Down, 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 down. And then you bend your knees. Lower your hips. Nice and easy. So, now, there are so many other variations um, that I recommend. One more variation that I recommend is the B stance or single leg variation, unilateral basic variations that you can do. They're great to target your glutes one at a time, or glute cheeks are one at a time. And in particular, if you struggle with glute imbalances, this is perfect for you because it'll help you even imbalances. So if you have one side that's stronger or smaller than the other, I always recommend doing three to four reps more on the weaker side, okay? So from here, foot position this way. You wanna bend your knees down, okay? And the weight doesn't have to be on this leg. This leg is basically, it's almost like we're lifting in it, but obviously we can't lift like this, so it's just easier to just position it on the floor for more balance and stability, okay? So the weight should be on this leg. This is the power leg, the, the leg, the functioning one, the working one, okay? And I want you to apply the same principle as a normal RDL. Again, David, if you can get on the side so they can see me. So what, you, what I want you to do, apply the same Romanian deadlift principle. So push your hips back. As you can see, see how my bar, how close my bar is to my thighs as well. It's not far, close to me, okay? Down, 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 down. That's how far I can go, I can't go any lower, okay? And up again. Down again, up again. Nice and simple. Okay, so now, if I had to pick the most glute dominant variation, for me, is the RDL, the Romanian deadlift. However, what are the pros and cons? The main difference is that with the RDL, it's more of an accessory um, um, exercise. That means you can really go, I mean, you can build up your strength, of course, but um, because your bar, you're using a lot, and um, you're also recruiting your back, and you're not going all the way down, you won't be able to go really, really heavy, like 200 kilos, on, and you won't be able to pack on a lot of weight. If you want to work on your strength, so if you have only aesthetic goals, so just grow your glutes, perfect for you, um, because you won't even be able to go that heavy. But if you want to work on your strength and hit some PBs, really like lift impressive amount of weight, I recommend doing the sumos or the conventional, okay, where you hit the bottom, where the bar hits the floor, okay? And um, those are more towards strength. But all of the variations all target your glutes as well because they're compound movements, okay? Now, I personally prefer RDLs. It's up to you to try different ones and see what works more for you. That being said, I think I covered all the main points on the different variations of deadlifts and RDLs. Again, I'll do a quick demonstration on all the different ones now. So de um, deadlift, de David, <laughs> I'm gonna call you deadlift as well. So if you get it from the side, again, let's start again very quickly. I'll show you all of one after the other. Let's start with RDL, okay? Romanian deadlift. So the stance is not really wide. I don't go all the way down with the barbell. Again, hip hinge at the hips, push the ground with your feet, up, up. Now, conventional. I just like to go slightly wider with my feet, okay? That's my perfect stance for me. This time, the barbell has to touch the floor, okay? Down, 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 down.
Okay, sumo, wide stance, toes pointed out, hands in. And last but not least, unilateral variation. Obviously, swap feet as well. Now, that being said, that's all about deadlifts, my darlings. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, thumbs up and subscribe, please. Or subscribe regardless. <laughs> um, but yeah. Thank you so, so much for joining me today um, on another tutorial. Um, don't forget, if you want to train with me, link in the description below. And I hope to see you soon for another video. Thank you for me. Uh, <laughs>